Well, it's time for duty in Djibouti. It's time for duty in Djibouti. It's time for duty in Djibouti. Doop, 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 duty in Djibouti. Welcome to another edition of Duty in Djibouti. I'm Staff Sergeant Sarah Weeks. Follow me to Shabeli Djibouti, where members from Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa teamed up with Djiboutian medical personnel to provide medical care to local civilians. U.S. military members from Camp Lemonnier partnered with Djibouti Ministry of Health personnel to provide medical care for local civilians during a Medical Civic Action Program, or MedCap, in Shabeli, Djibouti. I think it's great. These guys really need the help that we can provide in conjunction with the Djiboutian government and their medical people just to, to treat any variety of injuries, illnesses, sicknesses that they might have, just to show them that we are working together in that partnership. The forces American, they have always been helped, in all the sense. From the side of health, the schools, everything. They help us and we are helping. Women's health, pediatrics, cardiology, and general dentistry were among some of the services that were provided. My soldiers and all uh, people I see here, especially the civilian people, they are very happy. And they say thank you for the United States Army, those who are from Lemonia camp actually, and the American people also. More than 300 local Djiboutians received care. I think it, this MedCap is very rewarding personally. I think it's a great teaching opportunity for our, our dental technicians, um, any of the medics coming out here. It's a great opportunity for them to, to see hands-on in an in a austere setting um, what we can do and what we can provide um, for people in, in a setting such as this where we don't necessarily have uh, all the means that we normally do. Civic action programs such as this MedCap continue to strengthen the partnership between U.S. and Africa as well as provide opportunities to share best practices. For Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa Public Affairs, I'm Staff Sergeant Sarah Weeks. Navy EOD is unlike any other EOD in the military. Petty Officer 2nd Class Jerry Eagle tells us what it's all about. Navy EOD, we're explosive ordnance disposal. We jump, dive, we deal with naval ordnance, conventional ordnance. We'll clear routes for uh, whoever's Army personnel. If they find an IED, we'll respond to it. You know, deploy our robots out there, make it safe. You know, check for any secondary so that the convoy can move through and keep uh, personnel and equipment safe. If there's ordnance out of date, we can uh, take it out and blow it up, which we're doing today. I wouldn't say it's the most important job on base, but it's, uh, it's very important and we keep, um, we try to keep convoys and personnel safe. So it's, we are first responders. If there's a, you know, an, a V-bit at the gate or a suspect package, we'll be the first ones once it's found to respond to that to that item or incident. But uh, very versatile. We also, Navy EOD is the only EOD that, that jumps and dives. So our role, we can pretty much go anywhere under the water and we can be deployed anywhere. We want to make sure that we're ready to respond should anything happen. You know, not that we want it to, but uh, should anything happen, we're, we'll be ready for it. And now, service members from around the camp have messages for home. Hi, I'm Mass Sergeant Joshua Swiggett. I'm deployed from Langley Air Force Base. I'd like to give a shout out to my wife, Colette Swiggett, my uh, peeps, Elijah, Amara, and Kayla. I'd also like to give a shout out to my parents. Uh, I miss you guys, love you, and I'll see you guys soon. My name is uh, Chief Mass Sergeant Roger Miller, uh, deployed out of Langley Air Force Base, Virginia. I'd like to give a shout out to my wife, Ming, in Hampton, Virginia my children in Vermont, New Hampshire, and, and Michigan, study hard in school kids, and then uh, also my mom and dad in Hinsdale, New Hampshire. I'll be home very, very soon. Love you all. I'm Y1 Cruz, deployed out of Fort Dix, New Jersey. I want to send a shout out to my friends and family in Patterson, New Jersey. Love you guys and miss you guys. Sergeant Garner from Virginia Beach, Virginia. I'd like to give a shout out to my friends and family from Cleveland, Ohio. Let you know I miss you and I'll be home soon. Hi, it's Specialist Craig here in Djibouti, Africa. I'm deployed with 2138 FSC, stationed out of Louisville, Kentucky. I want to give a shout out to my mom and my family, the rest of my family, and just say hi, I love you guys, miss you. Technical Sergeant Jonathan Reed, deployed out of Las Vegas, Nevada. 
I want to give a shout out to my family in New York, my friends and family in Las Vegas. I miss you guys and I'll see you soon. Uh, I'm Staff Sergeant Ruben Rivera. I'm deployed out of Ellsworth Air Force Base, South Dakota. I'd like to give a shout out to my mom, Ruth Rivera in Phoenix, Arizona, and my wife, Alexandra, in uh, Rapid City, South Dakota. I love you guys, I miss you very much, and I'll be back before you know it. That's it for this edition of Duty in Djibouti. For Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa Public Affairs, I'm Staff Sergeant Sarah Weeks.